Hello and welcome. It's the Stampin' Sunday blog hop again this month and this month's theme is just reminding you of those little celebration items that are available for free uh, just for the next few days. You have about five more days to get your order in at the end of September. So I'm using the lovely penguin paper which is this really adorable little um, set of papers that do match the penguin punch and st and stamp set so i've decided to kind of focus in on those papers and show you how uh, you know a possible way you could use them so i have already pre-prepared some items i'm going to be making a set of quite long tags uh, tags are one of those things at christmas time that i run off run out of very very quickly so the sooner i can get ahead the better so i've used this tag topper punch incidentally i'm going to put all the list of uh, products in the description below so if you miss anything don't worry or if i forget the name of it don't worry so i also have cut out some ovals and used kind of co coordinating kind of colors that feature in some of the papers I've also cut myself some labels and some rectangle, these kind of like postage stamp rectangles, because what I'm going to be doing is having the imagery on the front as kind of the fancy tag bit. And then I'm going to be sticking one of these onto the back to do my writing, kind of like the to and from bit. So although we've got these lovely kind of um, more the all the kind of animals and things uh, featured on the back, I'm actually going to be using the planar side for the front and decorating. So I find that when you're doing adding lots of different elements, it's better to have a kind of planar background and then add those elements to it. So here I have lots and lots of fussy cut animals. If you love fussy cutting, this is your project. And, you know, I just had fun doing this, you know, one evening, just sitting and, you know, watching TV with the kids and just cut out quite a few there. Now, the other thing I'm going to feature is the delicate dahlias. Now, yes, it's flowers, but I like looking at stamps in a new way. To me, that's just a nice circular design. And I'm thinking of stamping that on some of these to create a focal point. So I'm going to go ahead and do lots of sticking and gluing and I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Uh, maybe find some nice Christmas music for you to listen to and um, I'll, sh I'll see you at the end.
here we have all my gorgeous little tags. Um, admittedly, this is more of a kind of like fun style for me. I'm, I don't usually make things like this, but it has been quite fun to kind of uh, cut a whole load of things out and then just play with placement and match the colours and everything. So I've topped these all off with some ribbon. So here I've used the uh, Fresh Freesia gorgeous organza -y satin edged ribbon and this is the soft succulent and then this is some retired ribbon some blue velvet ribbon from a few years ago but it just matched so beautifully that I couldn't resist using it now I am going to just show you what it's going to look like I've got a little box here of little sort of clips and things some are stamping up some are not from over the years and we are currently uh, supplying these gorgeous ombre envelopes in the annual catalogue and I wanted to show you how this then would look uh, to dress up a lovely gift so you could pop your gift in there um, just looking around my table to think oh what could I gift to somebody oh a block right let's pop that in and then fold that over and stick a tag on that and hey presto a beautiful gift to give somebody and no faffing around with sellotape and, and bits and pieces like that. So there are several colours in the pack. There's the soft succulent. Uh, sorry, that's a soft succulent. That's the evening evergreen. That's the fresh freesia. And there also happens to be two other colours in there too. And I just thought these would look fabulous. Look, look at that against the purple. Oh, so much yarn. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And then, oh, let's cho choose a pale green now to have the blue on it. Isn't that nice? So there we go. Thank you so much for joining me. Please to go out and check the blog. Um, the link will be in the description below. And you definitely want to head that way because all the links to all the other hoppers, the Stamping Sunday blog hoppers, are on that blog post. And believe you me, their designs are always knock it out of the park gorgeous. So please do go over there, grab yourself a cup of tea and have a fabulous time.